Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. So as you can see, today I am in a very different setting. I am at my bestie Saha's beautiful house Hi. because as you can see from the title, my bestie Saha very kindly agreed to share her amazing Paris Hermes story, how she scored five bags, including very highly coveted Birkin and Kelly. So that's why I'm here. But yeah, let's welcome our Saha. Oh, thanks for watching guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having <laughs> so, me. I'm so excited for this video because your story is just so amazing. <laughs> and I guess, you know, you guys, if you watch my videos, we all get it. You know, yes. we're all into the same things. By the way, if you're new to my channel, we do videos like this all the time, you know, just discussing little luxuries in life that we enjoy. So if you like that sort of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And without further ado, Let's get started with your story. Awesome, let's do it. So, so. you're in Paris <laughs> earlier in the year. I'll set the scene. Yes. Um, so you guys were traveling, you and your husband were traveling through Europe during the winter mm -hmm. and you ended up going to Paris as your last destination, yes. which was in January this January year. January this year. It all started from there. Yes. <laughs> so you were there for maybe just over a week or so. Just over a week. We were in Paris in January. So of course, when you're in Paris, you'd like to check out the Hermes stores. We'd love to see what they've got, what type of stock they have. And sometimes in Sydney, we don't quite get all of the range. So when in Paris, that's one of the things that we love to do with and my husband. Husband. Helps that your husband loves and he absolutely loves the brand well. and really loves the shoes and so he he likes to go to any Hermes shop anywhere around the world just to see what they have available um, so I, as you guys might know there's an appointment system where you apply online and then randomly you get selected for an appointment so so for the Hermes um, I think a lot of people are already aware yes. just but just to really quickly go over it there are three Hermes stores in Paris That's you right. can go to any of those stores uh, without an appointment to buy anything else but if you want to buy any leather goods such as bags wallets that sort of thing you do need to have a leather appointment and for any of those stores you have to apply to be offered an appointment the day before during Hermes's opening hours which is 10 30 to 6 30. apparently it's really competitive to get an appointment if you watched my paris video you already know that something like 20,000 people apply every single day but they only have a hundred appointments so you do need to keep applying to get an appointment. So I think you guys started applying while you're still in London. Yeah, so we were in London and then Paris was our next destination. So we started to apply when we were in London and then we arrived in Paris and for a couple of days we kept applying and we weren't very lucky with getting an appointment until the third or fourth day. But each day you were applying twice because you were That's applying right. under your name with your passport That's details. Right and under hubby's name and his passport details. So if you have family members with you, you can always apply under each person, which increases your chance of hopefully getting an appointment. That's right. So we, we kept applying both and then, you? yeah, both of us. And then I think it was about day four that when we were applying, we had a feeling that we might be lucky enough to get an appointment. And I was able to score an appointment for the next day. Mm -hmm. So very exciting. Started to think about the colors that I might want to ask for and the size and what type of bag that I was hoping to ask for. I was offered the very first appointment in the day. So we rocked up to the store at 10 30. So and your appointment was at the Borg store, yeah, which is the biggest mothership store. The biggest in Paris. mothership store. Um, I actually didn't mind where I get the appointment, but mm. obviously ideally for Ball is the flagship store. So it, it, it was very nice to have been offered an appointment there. Uh, but yeah, there was a massive line and I was thinking to myself, oh, well, possibly these are just surrounded people waiting to get into the store I've got an appointment so we should be able to skip the line so I approached one of the sales people at the front and they said yep pretty much everyone's waiting for an appointment <laughs> so, so they already had appointments <laughs> yes so that many people had appointments first thing at, in the morning at 10 30 so we waited in line but the line just basically went in really quickly as soon as the doors opened we all got in and we were allocated a sales assistant and gentleman who greeted us and because there was no seats available on the main floor where the leather goods are sort of kept he 
asked us to go up with him to the top floor and we were seated there and then pretty much went straight into what is it that you guys want? <laughs> Just <laughs> Let's cut get to the started. chase. Yes. Um, tell me what you want because he said these were his exact words. Mm. Um, it's first come, first serve. So yeah, he cut right to the chase and yeah. we went ahead and uh, I, I was hoping for a smaller bag. So I mentioned to him that, look, I'm looking for a smaller bag. I want something in a Kelly or a Birkin in a size 25. Of course, a mini would be amazing, mm. but I'm open to a 25. In terms of stitching, I didn't mind whichever one. Celia but, or Raton. A Raton, but Raton was my preference in a mm. smaller bag. And you mentioned colors. And yeah, what I did, I did like? mention colors. I had um, come across a really nice display bag in a trench color in London, which I fell in love with. And so I asked for a trench color or a cray color. I mentioned so a couple of colors. Light neutrals. Really lovely neutral colors. But I also mentioned that I don't mind a pop of color, especially if it's in a smaller bag, because Hermes color as you all know are beautiful mm. and in a smaller bag it's actually quite nice to have a pop of color yes. so I did mention that and then he pretty much disappeared for what seemed like forever <laughs> it <laughs> always feels like yeah, that it really felt like forever and he came out with two boxes mm -hmm. now as you guys a lot of you may have experienced this when they come out with two boxes it usually means it's not a Birkin or a Kelly because they usually don't offer two bags mm. at the same appointment so instantly when I saw the two boxes I thought oh maybe not this time mm. the this, sizes were a bit odd and the right? sizes were a bit odd so he came out with these two boxes and we um, always try and guess what and, kind of size by looking yeah. at the boxes so this one looks like maybe what and I don't have a mini but maybe what a mini would come in. But I knew that he wouldn't be offering me a mini and then something else as well. So at that stage, I was really unsure. But anyways, he cut to the chase and said, because you mentioned the color trench and it seemed like you really liked that color, I decided to bring out this bag for you. It's not quite what you want, which I already had guessed <laughs> by, by that stage. Yes. Um, but what he offered me, I actually really liked. Yes. So he offered me this getter bag um, in the color trench. No, I think it's Cubracho. Cubracho, is it? Yes. <laughs> Um, it's like a more neutral color. I don't know how to say that name quite. So anyways, he came out with this bag in a similar color to what I had asked mm -hmm. for. And obviously because it's a smaller bag, he felt like I would really like something like that. And mm -hmm. he was right. I did really like the bag. Although it's one of the newer collections, mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's a really, really lovely travel bag or yes. something that um, you might grab when you're going out casually. Obviously the canvas uh, strap it makes the bag a little bit more casual so and it's got the magnetic it's got the magnetic flap. flap which feels really secure and then it's quite spacious inside um, you've so. got some receipts in there so we won't flesh <laughs> that i like that how the front and the back are the same yep yeah so you, so can, you wear can wear it either, either way, way. And then obviously you can adjust it as required. I like to wear it crossbody because it just feels really nice and secure. And mm -hmm. I really like the fact that I can just flip this up and access the bag. It's, yes. it's quite um, easy to get in and out of the bag. It's a very subtle H. Yeah. So it's not a very loud bag. So it's really nice as a travel bag. Yeah. It's not so in your face. I'm an Hermes bag. That's so that's right. really so that nice. That's a really nice one. So, so even though you didn't mention this bag, you no, really liked it when you saw it? I feel like um, the reason why he brought it out was because he probably thought that this is a smaller bag, something mm. that I was looking for. And the in color. The color Yes. color wise it was something that I had asked for so he brought it out and I did like it instantly but I was very curious to find out what, what was else in the, in other, the box other box um, before you make the final before decision. I make the final decision and I actually wasn't even sure how many bags you can buy in the one appointment yes so that, that's that was right the first bag that came out and then he said again this is not exactly what you had asked for but in terms of color this is um even the color is not in this season so this is the only one that he could find for me but yeah to my surprise it's an amazing it up, bag <laughs> it ended up being a kelly actually yes in the color cray which i had asked for oh it looks perfect yes. with your outfit and it was, it's a size 28 so i had mm. originally asked for something small a 25 but because it's a retonate stitching it doesn't look as big as mm. um it's nice bulky as yeah. a 
it's really not as bulky as a cellier. And of course, the color is just out of this world. So oh, you guys all know how I feel about the color cray. I've forever been obsessed yes, with cray. So that was the one that he offered me. And I actually couldn't believe it because I yeah. didn't think he had a Kelly or a Birkin in that, in that box, box to offer me. So um, um, it's with the gold hardware yeah. too. I, I really think cray looks nice with gold it hardware. Really, it brings the warmth into it. It really yeah. does. So when he brought it out and obviously it's not the 25, but when I tried it on, it looks nice. It's not very overpowering mm. on me. So um, obviously I, I wasn't going to say no to this bag. Mm. I was definitely going to get this one but yeah my heart was also set on that one so then I asked him if I was able to purchase both of the items and um, he said yep that's fine it's only the Kelly or the Birkin that you can only purchase one every mm. six months so then I ended up just purchasing both of both them both of them yeah so that was a really good appointment absolutely it, it couldn't have been better yeah um, it was very so you're happy. very happy at this very point happy already at this stage but, but there this, are three more coming <laughs> uh, by this stage I'm thinking that's it like um, um, you know, it couldn't have gotten Successful any better. Trip. I was more than happy to even get one while I was there mm. on this trip. So at this stage, I'm saying to my husband, you know, like we're pretty much done. Yeah. But of course, he wants to keep applying because, to get an appointment yes. as well. You only had an appointment under your name so far. Yes. So your husband was very persistent and kept Absolutely. applying for his own appointment yeah. to yeah. see if you guys could score another bag, another bag in perhaps a smaller size. A smaller size, which is what I originally really had my yes. heart set on. Yeah. So then what happened next? What was your next bag that came along? So I have always really wanted a her bag as an everyday bag because I feel like the structure of it and just the way it's put together is quite nice. It's mm. quite versatile. So yeah, I was just saying to my husband, you know, like it would be really nice if I had asked at that appointment for a her bag mm. as well. Knowing us, we wanted to visit the Sevres store anyway. So a couple of days later, while we were still applying, we decided to go to the Sevres store just to have a look at some shoes and some other of the items that might be there because the stock is not exactly the same in each store mm. and as you know Paris has the three stores so we went to the same store while we were there I approached Sorry, we had a little phone phone uh, really. interruption. <laughs> interruption. <laughs> Where were we? So, um, so you went to the surf store. Yeah, to check so we out went to the surf store to <laughs> check out some shoes and just have a look at the stock. And um, when we got there, one of the sales assistants were wearing a really, really lovely top, which was obviously from Hermes. So I just approached her to compliment her on it and see if they have it available. Mm. Did they and have it? Unfortunately, no, no. It was one of the older season. I always seem to miss out on the nice thing. Yeah. Yes, I actually so, find Hermes ready to wear kind of reasonably priced compared yeah, to like absolutely. Dior and Chanel and absolutely. all of that. Absolutely. And I do like the discreetness of it. Yes. I don't really like a lot like of... the Christian Dior. Yeah, I yeah. don't like a lo lot of logos, although I do have a couple of items. But mm. when it comes to uh, a nice top or um, just the colors are really vibrant and mm. it's a bit more discreet. So anyways, um, I approached the salesperson and complimented her on her top and then asked her if uh, we needed an appointment meant for a her bag she just said basically wait and we'll see if someone is able to help you mm. so then we were greeted by another gentleman after waiting a couple of minutes and then I was able to ask him if they had any but at this stage I wasn't really sure what had happened whether that appointment I could have asked for a Kelly or a Birkin mm. or if it was it purely just for the her bag mm. but I thought you know what it doesn't hurt why don't I yeah. just ask at this appointment if there is any Kelly's or Birkin's available and he's pretty much said straight out no this appointment mm. is only for a her bag which you mm. had asked for and uh you know for the kelly or the birkin you need to go through the appointment system mm. which is very standard it's, fair. it's very fair yeah. and i wasn't really expecting to get anything out of that appointment mm. anyways uh, but yeah then i did ask for a particular her bag that i had been wanting so i showed him the photo and i said this is the her bag that i'm actually looking for and he said let me have a look and see what we have available so he went to the back and then he came out with a big box a big box <laughs> and um, I got really excited because I thought maybe it's the 
one that I actually had asked for. Mm. And when he came out, he said, look, we don't have that particular print. That's an older print that you had asked for. But he did offer me this, her bag, which at the time I wasn't very sure about. My husband fell in love with it. But yeah, I actually... It's not the one you originally it's not, asked for. It's not the one that I had originally asked for. But yeah, I have obviously fallen in love with it since. And I decided to purchase it because I thought it was a really nice color, very versatile. I do really like the gold hardware. Mm. You guys have seen this in uh, one of my one previous of videos, vlogs yeah. when we were having coffee because this is Sahar's everyday bag at the moment. Spacious. Yeah, it's quite spacious. A little bit difficult to get in and out of, <laughs> but you get you used just leave to it. it open yeah, as well. you actually get used to it. And it's got that back pocket where you can put your phone, mm. which is something that you probably need to access a the little most. more easy. So, yeah. Yeah, so. And it's got a nice shoulder strap. Yeah, it's so really nice. That's the one that I ended up getting and I really do like it. I enjoy wearing it. And there's a lot of canvas bags out there at the moment, but I feel like this is not something that you see everywhere. It's a little bit different. So I really, mm. really enjoy wearing it. And I mean, the her bag is just very well constructed. It's, it's very well lots constructed. Of design features. Lots of design features. It makes it really worth it. I feel so. Yeah. I feel like it really does. Um, and I mean, you know, the current designer bag prices are so insane. Her bag, I think this, you did mention it was around 2,200 euros. That's right. Euros, yes. Which is not even 4,000 Australian dollars. That's right. And let me tell you, the most basic Louis Vuitton speedy bag, I mean, it doesn't have many design features. I think that goes for like $3,000 at the moment. That's right. Yes. So I think Hermes bags are really well priced some of these bags. I do really like it and the fact that you can change it, so you mm. can um, mix it with, if you do have other um, yeah. her bags. This can, flap comes apart. It, it, the whole thing comes apart yeah. and, can and customize. You, can, you can mix and match and uh, I do really like the structuredness of it. Uh, mm. So yeah, it is quite, I'm really happy with it. Obviously it's something that I've been wanting for many, many years. Mm. So I'm really happy to have added that to my collection. It's and um, really beautiful. Yeah, although I, it wasn't what I had asked for and it wasn't what I was looking for, but it's definitely grown on me and I really love wearing it with jeans and um, just wear it every day. It's yes. a good color. It's a really good color. Yeah. So, so we have three bags here. Yeah, so then um, obviously. So that was a self store. That was a self store. Continue Steven, on the story. <laughs> hus hubby was still <laughs> applying and. Yes, uh, he's applying every day. He's applying still. every day, frantically <laughs> trying to get another appointment to see if we can score a very good bag. husband of he yours. He's very good. He's a big enabler. He's definitely. He doesn't um, stop you ever. No, if anything. <laughs> He, yeah, he yeah. does not stop me, which is nice. Yes, it's a good problem to have. But, you know, at this stage, I was quite happy yes. with what I had gotten. I had mm. gotten, you know, the her bag that I had wanted. I had gotten a smaller bag in the color that I wanted. And mm. also, of course, this very beautiful Kelly mm -hmm. bag um, in a gorgeous color. Mm. So I was actually really happy at this stage to call it mm -hmm. quits. <laughs> yes. But Harvey is still trying. So after a couple of days of trying, he did end up getting an appointment later in the afternoon mm -hmm. this appointment was uh, I think around 3 or 3 30 at Faborg store again at the Faborg store so then this is all within like the space of a week right? absolutely <laughs> within a space of a week we couldn't believe it when we got the appointment mm. but you know to be very honest at this stage going in we didn't know what's going to happen and mm. we, we weren't really expecting to get anything out of it or um but you know we were going to try we had an I appointment I think that's what you thought yeah but I think hubby thought hubby thought that we it. can get this something <laughs> he, he's he's aiming high yes. and also you know back in 2019 when we were traveling together we were also very lucky yes and um, basically scored really nice bags really lovely bags so I think um, I don't know you kind of think that mm, maybe the luck's still in us yeah yeah, yeah absolutely like yeah. you just don't know whether it's just being lucky or what it is who even knows yeah, yeah. <laughs> really who even knows yes so we got this appointment but then um, the appointment time kept changing they kept so updating like, us SMSU, so yes, you your yes. appointment's at three, and then if someone's running behind, they'll say like it's running behind pushed or earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got pushed back a little bit, so we decided to make our way there anyways. A little bit early? We, yeah, we had plans so mm. in the evening, so we decided just to head there. And as we were just about to approach the store, the appointment got pushed back even further. But at this stage, we decided, you know what, we're just going to go in. Might just browse around a little bit. There might be a salesperson to help.
help us out. We'll just see. We'll see how it goes. And if they mm. ask us to come back a little bit later, then maybe we can go and have something and come back. So anyways, we headed to the store and we approached the concierge and told them that we had an appointment um, and showed them the SMS. And then they asked us just to wait around and have a browse and, mm. and someone will approach us when a sales assistant becomes available. Mm -hmm. So yeah, while we were there, in my head, I was still a little bit unsure about the her bag that I had been offered. I still had that in my bought. heart <laughs> and that I had bought. So I had still in my heart the previous one that I really wanted. The color was different. So I thought, you know what, while we're waiting, why don't I ask one of the sales assistants if they have that particular one that I was after because mm. the one that I had purchased was from the seventh store. We had never asked for one from the football store. So I approached them and I said, this is the her bag that I actually really want. Mm. You showed them the um, photo. Yeah, I showed them the photo and I said, this is um, the her bag that I would like if you guys have it available. And so the gentleman that assisted me was able to actually offer me the one, the exact one that I wanted. Mm. Um, so, so this was just a floor sales associate. Yeah, that absolutely. You so while you were waiting for your actual leather appointment. For my appointment. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So, so this so was not even the beginning of even, your leather appointment yet. Not even the beginning of the leather appointment. I just decided mm. to ask them just Someone, to see if they yeah. have it. And then I was just like really thinking maybe what I do in my head I was thinking if they do have the one that I actually want maybe I'll mm. do a little exchange and um, mm. You know exchange the one that I had already purchased with the one that I actually yeah. wanted because you so, thought you don't need two Yeah, I, I <laughs> was not planning to have two her bags. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's mm. give it a try. Yeah, so once I showed them the um, The salesperson the picture um, he's like, let me see what I have available and then he came out with the actual her bag that I had originally wanted mm -hmm. which, which is, is... <laughs> drum roll <laughs> which is actually this one. Oh, um, sorry in this back. print so that was the back of the bag this is there actually the one that i had originally wanted it was an older print it's mm. called gala the Brides. The Brides. I, um, yeah so i think it was a, from a couple of seasons from ago. a couple of seasons ago but i really just like the warm tones mm. and the print i felt like was really hermes and um, yeah, I quite liked it. So he came out with this one. I got super excited because I thought, oh my God, like this is actually the, the one, one that I wanted. <laughs> and so I tried it on and it was just exactly what you I just had loved imagined. It. Yeah, I absolutely fell in love with it. So yes. then I was really indecisive about what I should do. Mm. Which one should I get? Should I keep them both? And anyway, so cut the long story short, hubby's like, you know what? You really <laughs> wanted that one. That one's beautiful. I don't really think you should let this one go. <laughs> um, you know, why don't you just buy the other one as well? Because the price is really good yes. in Paris, obviously. Um, and again, he's an enabler. And he's an enabler. <laughs> and he's like, I'm sure you'll find you know use for it Different so uses, yeah, yeah absolutely so i ended up getting this one and um yeah i was really quite happy again with the purchase i haven't i have to be honest i haven't used it as much as i have used the which is interesting one, very, very ironic interesting, <laughs> very interesting but i thought you know what it's a it's a good one to have in the collection and like i said before i could always mix and match them mm, i could put you can the, swap the yeah um, the leather the flap portion the flap yeah. and I it's really the, fun yeah and i could put the gold hardware on this one mm. if i really wanted to which i think will go really well with this yeah and I could put the silver on this and so on mm. and so forth and I could really play around with it so yeah. I decided to get it and um, I think coming to summer I'll probably use this one a little bit more mm. right now it's winter so I, I tend to go for the darker colors yes. a little bit more but yeah I do have a lot of shoes and whatnot in in this sort of tones mm. so I think I'll love that kind yeah of and I think I'll definitely use it a little bit more coming to summer yes yes so so then at this now stage, the grand finale <laughs> So at this stage, we decided to go ahead with this bag and yeah. then this gentleman was finishing his shift. So then he went, we pretty much said bye to him. And then a lady came to greet us for our actual leather goods appointment. Yes. We had seen her a couple of times in the store before for other things. On this particular day, she must have been doing the mm. appointment. So she greeted us and asked us if we wanted anything and we didn't. And then um, she pretty much went. Oh, you mean you wanted a drink? Oh yeah. yeah. She wanted you a definitely drink. wanted a bag. <laughs> We wanted a bag, but yes. um, we don't need a drink. We just... don't need a drink at this stage. Let's just cut to the chase. Yeah. Um, and then she asked us, you know, what we were after, and immediately. 
I just pretty much said, look, mm. I really would like something small, whether mm. it's a Kelly or a Birkin. I just want something in size 25. A mini would be absolutely amazing, but minis are really, really difficult to come by. So mm. I just said, look, um, I'd be very happy with a Kelly or a Birkin in a size 25 or a mini if you have anything in that size. A pop of color would be amazing, but at this stage I'm open to sort of colors and mm. shades. She did mention just before she went away that for the season there's only the darker colors mm, available. It's winter. Because it's winter. We only have sort of more the darker greens, mm. darker blues. And at this stage I'm like, you know what, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's just see what color yeah. we can get. I'm open mm. to options yeah. as long as it's a 25. Mm. I really didn't want to go back again with a 30 or a 28. Mm. So yeah, I really emphasized that the size, I really want something small. So she went away and then came back with a box. That looked like the proper size. <laughs> that looked like the proper <laughs> size. And she kept saying, look, there is, there was literally nothing else. This is the only thing that I could find. At this stage, I'm thinking, oh, what could it be? Why does she yeah. keep saying there was nothing else? Yeah. Like, is this not Like, is a this nice a color? really ugly bag or yeah. something? Is it, is it not nice? I'm I mean, it's so, like the ultimate holy grail. Anyway, so she went ahead and opened the bag and took the bag out of the dust bag, and I and just could not guess believe what my it eyes. was. So she came out with this bag, a size 25 Retame um, Birkin. stitching Birkin in the Togo leather, and it's the ultimate color. It's a black one and um, with the I've, gold hardware. I've already used it so many times. And 25 is such a good size it's for such you. Such a beautiful size. The yeah. 30 in the Birkin it is a little bit big. It's a bit big, so you can only use it during the day. Yes, absolutely. Whereas this one, um, this one well, we've gone out together. Out together at night time. You can just use it all the time. Mm. And it's definitely been a bag that I've been reaching out for a, a lot. lot lately mm. because it's just such a good size mm. and um, I can fit a fair bit into it still. Mm. And it doesn't feel overpowering and I can just pop it on the table. I don't have to worry about where I'm putting it, whether yeah. I'm putting it on the floor or <laughs> what's going on. On, so yeah. yeah so yeah it's been really good this was amazing this is a really amazing size i mean this was an amazing paris outcome wasn't it really, <laughs> it really was. everything is just so so beautiful i think you guys just are lucky every time you go to paris <laughs> but i think it also goes a long way i mean getting an appointment through the online system is just potluck so yes. you can't do much about it but i think what you get offered at the appointment when you That's are right. there I think it has a lot to do with, you know, what sort of vibe you give off Absolutely. and all of that. So now we'll get into the portion where I just ask you a couple of sure. questions. <laughs> um, and this will sort of tie into, you know, kind of like little tips and tricks. There's no magic way to get bags and whatnot, but um, I think there are little things that we can share. Definitely. So I think because we've already talked about this and I've heard this story like, months ago <laughs> yeah. in terms of getting an appointment i think january is quite a good time we've i think so we've sort I've, of like talked about yeah, how it's after christmas but it's not quite the busy summer holiday season it's not like fashion week That's like right. i like, went like there. we did um the yeah. first time around and also well. my second yeah. time was fashion week That's fashion right. week's really hard because competition is just really high but january seems to be quite a good month it's still really competitive it is quite but competitive. relatively speaking yes all the festivities are over. Absolutely. We've heard that in December, a lot of Paris locals would ask for bags as well. So the competition's higher, but in Much January, higher. things are a little quieter. Not to mention they do have small price increases every January. Yes, so, so um, they're more inclined to have a little more stock. Absolutely. We are all hypothesizing. Absolutely. Like every everyone's experiences, I suppose, different. Yeah. Um, it just really depends on the day, depends on the sales. It really person, does. Depends on the stock, depends on, you know, who was there the day before mm. and what bags are available obviously so yeah it's just luck of the draw it really, really is mainly um, we don't really know how these systems work have but no idea these are just our observations and obviously like you know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> so um that that's one thing and i think the other thing is i mean when you go into the store what would you say that's really helped you guys to be looked after i think knowing you guys are charming people yeah well i mm. mean uh, 
I suppose everyone's genuine when they go in, mm. but showing a general interest in the brand, knowing a little bit about what you want and mm. maybe even a little bit about the type of leathers that you, that are out there, the colors, mm. um, knowing, knowing what you want, being yeah. very open-ended and asking, okay, give me anything, offer me anything, I'll take mm. it, doesn't come across very okay. genuine. I choose to say that word, like, I mean, yeah. I don't know. It can come across that you'll take anything, anything with you to make yes, profit. Exactly. So you can look like a reseller. So obviously you want to be a little bit flexible like you've been. Like, you know, you've taken the size 28 instead of the 25. Yes. Because the color was exactly what you That's wanted. Right. But I think being slightly flexible is different to being just completely open-ended because then they can get the vibe that you might be a reseller or someone who just wants to profit from Absolutely. these Absolutely. I think knowing what you want does really yeah. help them try and find. Because they're, That's they're, right. the sales assistants are there to help you. Mm. Help you find your special piece. And you are spending a little bit of money. So if you are going there and just asking for anything, it might not come across very mm. genuine. Although you might be happy with their color with any mm. color but it does help to be mm. a little bit more specific yes i agree um, it's only natural if you're getting a bag of this price point like it's only normal for you to have researched and have know research what you want and know what you want so i think mm. it'd be nice to give them an idea because at least when they go to the back and they're looking to offer you something then they can obviously look to specialize that offer for you specifically mm. you can see they've done that for me yes, i've asked for something that bag. is small i've asked for a small bag so they've gone and gotten me a small bag mm. i've asked for a particular color and he's just gone yeah. ahead and found me something in that particular color mm. in a small bag although it wasn't what i wanted mm. but you know obviously he's really taken that on board yes and then even with this one because i mentioned the color cray he's gone ahead and bought this out for me as well mm. because he thought you know what she might not want a bag in this size but mm. at least the color is right mm. and he's given me those two options so yeah i really feel like they're there to help you yeah. so be specific with what you want and they, yeah, they actually try. listen to they it. actually yeah. do listen yeah they do listen i guess one other thing is i know your hubby and yourself enjoy many other things from hermes like you know yes, your particular do. shoes belts Absolutely. and things little accessories we know you know in our local stores we do try and build that relationship with the sales right. associate yeah, yes. to yeah and and by you know purchasing things that you really appreciate from the brand but yes. in paris do you think or at least our experience was that buying a couple of things we really felt like it really helped us which is perfect for us because we like these things anyway right. and we always That's say we right. only buy yes. things that we uh, will actually get a lot of use a out lot of use out. but right. i guess you know just to be really upfront with everyone you guys did purchase some other things we definitely not did. a lot but yeah. um do you feel like that maybe helped you at definitely. the appointment i definitely think they do look at your history mm. and i'm not saying go out and splurge to get a bag yeah obviously I'm not saying that. you haven't done that I'm definitely not doing that at mm. all so and it doesn't guarantee anything. no it doesn't guarantee anything but when you do get that appointment mm. they will look at once you're there for our first appointment we mm. hadn't purchased anything mm. yet yeah so it's um, obviously not something so that you have to it's do it's definitely but... not related to it but I think um, it does help so yeah. when they look at your history mm. of purchases it does help because if they know you've got a passion for the mm. brand and you're not just there to get a bag mm. I feel like it definitely helps yeah yeah so I guess what you get offered I guess in your case um in between your say first appointment and your last appointment you guys got a couple of pairs of shoes definitely and bought a couple of pairs of boots because obviously and hubby shoes. loves his yeah, um yeah, boots and yeah that was actually good too because in Sydney or other cities he couldn't find the boots that he wanted that's right, right. You're so and the prices are better in Paris much, anyway prices are much better and you know what it's an experience sometimes yeah. here in Sydney we just don't have the time to mm. go to the city and to shop and to mm. spend time looking for the things that you know we like that's right um, sometimes it's months before we get to visit the Hermes mm. store so everyone's do, busy absolutely so sometimes we do miss out on a lot of nice stock that comes and immediately goes so mm. but when you're on holidays it's a little bit different you're more relaxed you're more relaxed yeah. you can visit the store a couple of times so yes we did definitely find a couple of items that we really liked and mm. we did purchase a couple of other items as well but yeah so I think um, yeah that, that it may have definitely bit. helped with 
with with the that smaller, one, the yeah, last the one. one. Yes, yes. Because yeah. yes. obviously, as everyone knows, smaller bags are a little bit more in demand. Mm. So maybe the purchase history does help with mm. like the more sought after yeah. items. Yeah. yeah. So that was an amazing trip, wasn't <laughs> it? It was really, really lovely. <laughs> it was really amazing. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, Sahar's story. How she scored so many amazing and beautiful bags from. Paris. Once again, thank you so much for spending the time and coming on the video and sharing your amazing story with everyone. Anything for my bestie. Uh, it, or, it's just, you know, I just have the best bestie, let <laughs> me just say. I have a feeling we're gonna do maybe another video together on your maybe entire bag collection. Why not? And this maybe was fun. I think you can declutter a little bit I think now I with have all to these now. goodies. <laughs> So today's really dark, but we might do another session and see how we can declutter your bag collection. Let us know if you're interested in that video. She's got an amazing bag collection. So oh, thank yeah, you. <laughs> um, that's another idea. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that we talked about today, do leave them in the comments below. We will both do our best to answer your questions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your precious time with us today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Thanks bye for guys. watching. Bye. bye.